call, see if we need anything. Um, Darren was in, and was instrumental in getting our vote by mail card. Um, he partnered with us and Randy Freeze and Jill Tracy to get that program to Hancock County. So he, he's really helped us with that. He's helped us with other advertising and stuff like that. So we really we really appreciate him doing that. That was the first first time we've done a vote by mail campaign, and I think it's a success. Um, the courthouse, the election department hasn't necessarily liked it because it's given them a lot of work. But <laughs> hey, you know what? My boss said in 10 years we're all going to be voting on the internet anyway. Yeah. So, Darren Lahood. Thank you. Um, thanks so much, Kathy, uh, for uh, putting this together and for all of you coming out uh, tonight, the night before the election. Um, I just can't thank Kathy enough for all you do as our Republican chairperson for Hancock County, all you do for our candidates, all you do for our elected officials. Uh, for getting the vote out there, Kathy. Thank you so much for all your hard work and what you did. Uh, and I don't know if you know, it's hard to say no to Kathy. You guys might know that, right? Uh, because uh, she does such a good job and is relentless. And, uh, you know, um, I have 19 counties that we represent in Central and West Central Illinois. And I'm just going to tell you, they're not all like Kathy. Kathy is a worker. And so, really, uh, I'm proud to call her my friend, and she does such a terrific job. I also want to make sure I recognize a couple other people. Randy Freeze, our state representative. Uh, Randy does a great job in Springfield for us. Uh, so we're going to have some questions at the end, so save the tough questions for Randy. For your, <laughs> state I also want to thank Chris, who does a great job at the courthouse here. Chris, thanks for all you do. You're in everything, so we appreciate your service and what you do here at ACOP. So and I know we have the mayor of Dallas City here. Right? Thank you, Mayor, for, for being here. Appreciate it very much. And, uh, uh where's the Mayor? Oh, he left. Did he leave already? Yeah. yeah. And I know we got a few other elected officials here, so I appreciate it, uh, you being here. Uh, what, really, we put this together as an appreciation to say thank you uh, to the people in the room here that have been helpful to us. And, you know, I wouldn't be in this job as a member of Congress if it wasn't for a lot of people in this room that stepped up three years ago and helped me to get in this position. I'm honored to represent you in Washington, D.C. I really am. It's, it's truly a privilege to go to Washington, D.C. and to vote for the values and vote on behalf of the people in Hancock County and around our district. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, our district cover, we live in the Peoria area. My wife and I, we live in a little town called Dunlap. We have three sons that are 16, 14, and 12, our three boys. Um, our, our oldest son uh, just started driving about two months ago, so stay off the roads in Dunlap at least for about six months here. Um, and he's not real happy with his mom and me because we got this app put on his phone. It's called 360 Live. If you guys got kids or grandkids, we can track him wherever he's going. So you know how fast he's going, you know if he says he's going to the mall, and you can watch on your phone where he's going. It's really neat. You can follow where he's going, but he keeps, go he keeps asking his, his mom and I, why are you stalking me? So that's what he's doing. <laughs> you know where he's at all the time. But he's really a good kid, straight A student. He's done well in, in sports. But um, my wife and I said, we're glad they didn't have that when we were 16, right? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we're blessed to have three, uh, three young sons and three boys we're raising in Central and West Central Illinois. And uh, I just got to tell you, um, I'm running for election tomorrow. And uh, again, I thank you for your support. And I know we have some precinct committee people in here. I'm a precinct committee man. Before I ever got elected to anything, that was my job. And pre being a precinct committee man, I know you're not doing it for the money. Uh, you're doing it for, because you care about the party. But it's vitally important on what you do, whether it's putting up yard signs, whether it's going door to door, whether it's advocating for our candidates from President Trump to Governor Rauner all the way down to my office and at county board races. But it is so important. Uh, that the work that you do as precinct committee. So I just want to say thank you. Poll watchers, all those things matter. They matter in our race. And, and so, um, I, again, I'm grateful for, for everything you do. I do want to mention one other thing. Um, I, I commute out to Washington, D.C. Uh, when we are in session and come back every weekend. Uh, we have two interns for us uh, for the next six months in our office. And one of those is from Hancock County. We got a young man, Joseph Jacob, who's from Nauvoo, who is uh, interning for us. He's a 19-year-old uh, sophomore in college. He's doing a great job, and we're happy to have him from Hancock County working for our office in Washington, D.C. So if any of you want to come out to D.C. sometime um, with your kids or grandkids, you want to come on your own, we'd love to entertain you out there. Um, let me just say a couple things about the country. I couldn't be prouder to support President Trump at the national level. I think President Trump is doing a good job. I love his policies. You look at the economy. 
Our economy is the best economy we've had in 25 years. Our unemployment's at 3.7%, lowest since 1969. We've created two and a half million jobs in two years. We have more people working in this country than ever before. It was just announced last week, America has the number one economy in the world, first time in 15 years that has happened. Private sector wages are up over the last six quarters all across the board. It's working. Giving more of your hard-earned money back to you, a tax cut for the first time in a long time. We gave uh, middle class folks and lower middle class more of their hard-earned money. If you're a family of four living in Carthage making $60,000 a year, you're going to get back about $2,100 extra in your taxes next year. Now, Nancy Pelosi would tell you that's crumbs. That ain't crumbs. That's real money. It's real money in Hancock County. That may not be real money in San Francisco or New York or Chicago. It's real money in Peoria and it's real money here. And I talk to people all the time. What does that mean, that extra $2,100 or your hard-earned money? You can buy a new washer and dryer, pay off your credit card, go on a vacation, save up for your kid's education. So we did that, and I was proud to support that. Uh, let me just talk a little bit about national security. I think our country is safer today than it has been in 25 years. We defeated ISIS uh, over in the Middle East. We tore up a terrible U.S.-Iran deal that was negotiated under Obama that gave way too much authority to Iran. We moved our embassy in Israel to Jerusalem, something that we talked about for a long time. We did that. We have rebuilt our military. It took a lot of money. We gave our first pay raise to our military folks in 10 years. That was done under President Trump. We needed to do that. Our military had been decimated. Talk to anybody that serves in the military. And I know your we husband did. does, and we appreciate we his service. We, we have rebuilt this military back to what we needed. We still got a little ways to go, but we've done that under this administration here. We have our first woman CIA director, President Trump has put in, who's doing a fabulous job in there. And so we are safer today because of what the president has done at the national level. Lastly, let me just talk about the federal judiciary. Couldn't ask for two better picks on the U.S. Supreme Court yeah. yeah. than Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh. And what do I mean by that? You know, we need, you look at the decisions that are going to be made by the U.S. Supreme Court over the next 30, 40 years. Generational decisions. Everything from protecting the Second Amendment to protecting life to the free enterprise system to all those things that we hold dear. We, those decisions are going to be made by the U.S. Supreme Court. And I'm so glad President Trump has put two conservatives that stand up for the Constitution, stand up for the rule of law, understand what the founding fathers meant when they put that, our, this document called the Constitution together. And so I'm glad the President, you know, you watch that Kavanaugh um, uh, nomination, and it was a brawl, street brawl, but the President never backed down. And he stood up and he got him through, and I'm, I'm very, very happy for it. But those, those two men on the Supreme Court, uh, they're going to make the right decisions for us in the future, and uh, glad the president did that. Lastly, I give the president a lot of credit what he's doing with this caravan and holding up the rule of law on our southern border. We are a country of laws. And we have to stand up for the rule of law, and that means when people come here illegally, they ought to be stopped at the border, and they ought to be not allowed into the country until they comply with the law. That's it. And I've been a strong supporter of building the wall where we can along the border, putting fencing up and barriers, using technology. And the president has got the attention uh, of, of the world on that. And that's a good thing. Uh, and so uh, I'm going to continue to support him on that. And so I'm proud to be in Washington, D.C. to take those votes on all those issues, to stand up for the values of people in this room. And I, I think about the people that I represent in Central and West Central, like people that work hard people that play by the rules, people that have strong families, people that are self-reliant. They don't want government to do a lot. They want them to stay out of their way. And those are the people that I represent. And going to D.C. and voting the right way and advocating for you, it really is. It's the honor of my life to be in Washington, D.C. And hopefully tomorrow, if I'm fortunate enough to get reelected, I look forward to going back and continuing to advocate for you in Washington, D.C. to the best of my ability. So thank mm -hmm. you for your support. Uh, any way we can ever be helpful, let us know. I'm honored to serve you.